Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Having a model with an ultra long context window means users no longer need to chop up their inputs or worry about the model losing track of important information from earlier in a document. It's a step towards AI that can act as a genuine assistant across long term tasks and complex documents and that is why I'm so excited to present you this new model from NVIDIA which is ultra long 8 billion. It's a new family of LLMs that has been designed to handle ultra long pieces of text up to either 1 million, 2 million or even 4 million tokens. A token could be a word or a word part. And that 4 million token would be in a single context window. When we say context window, the context window of a model determines how much text it can see and reason over at once. Traditionally, this window has been relatively short, meaning the model is only aware of a snippet of text at any given point in time, limiting its usefulness for tasks requiring understanding or referencing long documents. Processing long sequences means the model can accept and make sense of entire books or massive documents as a single input, remembering relevant details from the beginning all the way to the end. Now we are going to install the 4 million context window ultra long model here in this video and we will then go from there. And yes, um, the model is a fine tuned of Llama 3.1 which is quite old but if you have been following my channel you might notice that we have compared few of the models in the last few days and still Llama 3.1 is one of the go-to model if you are even implementing it in production it is better than the Llama 4 in my humble opinion so let's get it installed and we will see how it works let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring this VM and this GPU NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let's start by creating a virtual environment and if you're also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Okay, let's go back and see what is happening. Let's install all the prerequisites and then let's launch it in our Jupyter Notebooks. While it does that, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. Okay, and now let's download the model. And there are seven shards of it so let's wait and the model is downloaded now instead of the usual inference which we test with these models for the purpose of this video i am going to test the long context maybe in a synthetic way a long context prompt is simply a very long text potentially hundreds of thousands or millions of tokens which could be words or subword units which might be a text of a long book uh, it could be several chapters of a technical documentation it could be a big source code repository it could be a large collection of legal contracts or any big complex document that would overwhelm a normal llm the idea is to see if the model can process this much information and secondly recall or relate content from the beginning after reading through a huge context so let me first show you one of the example which I have just created. So this is simply, let me paste it first and then I'll say, tell you what exactly I'm saying. So this is what I'm doing. I've tried to make it as simple as possible. So in this one, all I am doing, I'm just generating a synthetic long text. So this is just a line, then looping through it. This is a Python um, sort of very short way of doing it. And then I'm inserting the secret code at this position. After that, I'm asking it, what is the secret code I mentioned? So it is sort of a needle in the haystack problem, which I'm trying to mimic. And then I'm applying the chat template and model is generating the output and printing it out. Now, the thing is that the larger your data will be, the more memory you would need. So make sure that you have uh, ample memory. 
So I'm just trying it out with this 500,000 rows, half a million. So let's see if it is able to do that. If it would uh, give me out of memory, I will just reduce this loop from here. But I just want to show you that um, how this long context is working. So let me run this and we will also check VRAM consumption. So let me go down and show you. So you see it gave me out of memory error because I don't have ample memory. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to reduce it to maybe I'll just say 200,000 and then run it. Let me also show you VRAM consumption. So it is consuming, so again out of memory. So it is consuming just close to uh, 44 kick of VRAM. So I will even reduce it further. I think it is still very high for it. So I'll just go up and then maybe I'll make it 100,000 and run it again. And there you go. Hopefully this time it has worked. There you go. So it has found this secret code, which I had hidden somewhere in the middle of it. Okay. In the next example, I am again simulating a real world problem. So I'm presenting the model with a simulated crime log around 100,000 entries, each of which details what people uh, did at different times buried somewhere, say like entry 65,000 is a crime event, as you can see. So this is a random entry which I have generated. And then from there, we have inserted that crime time and criminal. This is a crime log I just created in a loop that supported very simple Python loop. And from there, we are asking the question from the model. So the log is very long and mostly repetitive. That is uh, a sort of a boring data like legal or, you know, uh, this criminal data. And this is just like a real long context you would get in industrial, legal or technical settings. And the crime is at a random position challenging the model's recall. Um, if the model can answer correctly, then it seem then it we would say that it successfully reasoned over the log. So, and the rest of the lot is same again. We are applying the chat template. We are generating the output with the model and then printing it out. So let's run this. And there you go. The model has given us a very correct answer, and took a bit of a time around a few seconds, but I think work perfectly well and of course you have uh, if you have more memory you can scale it up to as much as you like until of course you reach that 4 million theoretical layer now very impressive i think things are moving in a really really good direction we have covered a lot of long context model and i think some of them really struggle at uh, as soon as they cross this 100,000 that sort of limit but I think this 4 million to, uh, context window is something really impressive so good work by NVIDIA let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching